Hello, my name is Alvin Law, and I am coming to you from my home office in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I would normally be out on the road speaking at speaking engagements, but unfortunately, this is the way it's going to be for a little while. The virtual talking world has become my new reality. And by the way, I don't like the term the new normal because I've got a thing about normal. I could tell you lots of stories, but let me very quickly get to the point. I was one of Canada's first thalidomide babies who are the babies that were born deformed because of the morning sickness medication way, 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 way back that was obviously put on the shelf theoretically in 1963. The point is I was born without arms. And before I was even a week old, I was also homeless. And I believe the reason that took place was because of the very obvious negative stigma attached to having no arms from birth. But even more important, it was 1960. We have learned so much. We have come so far. And I am now a very successful speaker in the Canadian Speaking Hall of Fame. I'm a successful author with my book called Alvin's Laws of Life. And I have been on the circuit for over 35 years doing my presentations. I essentially talk about my life. So people are always asking me questions. Hey, Alvin, do you have some advice on how I can live as successful as life as you've got considering your physical challenges? And what I didn't even realize was I was living a formula and people like formulas. So this is the formula. I wanna show you this real quick. By the time we finish this, I'm going to be asking you to write this down or take a screen capture. And if you can't read it, what it says is E plus or minus R equals O. So that's E plus or minus R equals O. What that stands for is E is the event. Plus or minus is the R and positive or negative reaction or response equals your outcome. Now, actually, to be honest with you, I'm not very good at math. I never enjoyed chemical or scientific formulas. But what this is is a reminder of how we can see the challenges that we are facing every single day. In fact, to be quite transparent, I get an awful lot of credit for what I've done with my life when really the credit goes to the person that probably made me understand this formula without even knowing that's what it was. Her name was Hilda Law. Hilda Law was my foster mom. She was the one that took me home from the hospital in a small town called Yorkton, Saskatchewan General Hospital, where I was given away by my birth family. Her job was to look after unwanted children, so that fit the bill for her, her gig. But what was really most amazing was she kept me, her and her husband Jack, and this is the part that blows my mind, were 55 and 53 years old at the time. So a lot of people kind of are under the impression that, you know, for example, you get to be over 50, your best days are behind you. I disagree. Life is a constant everyday challenge and how we can live that life was proven to be by my parents. They taught me to use my feet for hands. Now, you may have seen this before, especially with the internet being as pervasive as it is. But the reality is the challenges that my parents would face we're more systemic. We talk a lot about systemic problems these days, aren't we, in our modern culture? Well, there was systemic problems for me because, for example, I was not supposed to go to school. I was supposed to go to a, what we call now special needs school or back then the school for the crippled. Well, mom and dad weren't being activists or being antisocial or trying to make a statement, but there was a school right across the street from our house in Yorkton. So I went there. We actually had to work with the principal at the school, come up with some adaptivity to be able to allow me to do things like write on a lower desk, different sorts of things that actually made my life not so easy, but made the life of the teachers that much easier. But the response is the exact example of the formula. My parents could have said, oh darn, oh gosh, we really hate the world, we're gonna send our kid to the cripple kid school because that's what people do. But instead they took the positive reaction to a negative situation. And as a result, I got to be educated in a public school, graduating in 1978 with honors. Everything is how we look at it. Everything is how we perceive it. And yes, attitude is part of that everything. So in summary, remember this formula. Write it down, put it on your desk, and keep in mind that every single day, we are facing some of the most unfair things in life, especially since this all began in March. So try to have a good attitude, try to look at the positive response to your negative situation and your outcomes, I guarantee, will always be better 
if you use E R O. This has been Alvin Law from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Have a good one and remember, wash those feet. Bye.